How do you like that? Okay, we have a little bit of a safety net already. And mind you... Ooh, okay. Oh, <laughs> this is what we were looking for indeed. We were looking... Oh, no, no, we need to shovel. Oh, fudge me. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place Don't Starve Shipwreck. We have to start all over, unfortunately. Last episode, we finally, finally died. I fought it, man. I, I went down fighting, kicking, screaming. I tried everything my best, but... You know what? I just wasn't going to do it at that point in the game, considering how far in I was. Starting off blind as a new player, with no sort of prep work for the late game part, really, really bad. However, this start over should be great, because now I know what to aim for. I have learned a lot from your comments, I've learned a lot from my off-camera play. And let me, as a matter of fact, show you. This is my off-camera one right here, this 131. That's the one that I told you guys about that's so good. But you guys want me to start fresh instead of just jumping over to this one, so that's fine. Today we start fresh with a new character. You guys wanted to see a new character, which is part of the reason why you want me to start all over as well, as opposed to just jumping over to the other save file. So we'll do shipwreck, we'll go into character. Uh, since we died, we picked up a few characters here. We have the fire starter. This seems kind of cool, because no fire damage, which is great. Has a sweet lighter. So the only problem is lights fire when nervous, so whenever your insanity starts getting low, she has a possibility of setting stuff on fire, which might be even my own stuff, so no. Strongman seems really, really bad. It's afraid of the dark and monsters, and I'm gonna be fighting a lot of these dudes because we need monster meat to make our surf and turf. This one is the less... I don't know, the less of, lesser of evils from the we have available here because the other ones are still locked, unfortunately. But, um, with this woman here, or this kid, whatever, the bereaved, Abigail, come back, I'm not done playing with you. She's haunted by her twin sister, which sounds kind of terrifying, but she's comfortable with darkness and doesn't hit very hard, so it'll take me a bit longer to kill something, but as long as I evade it, which I kind of know how to do, I should be able to make it happen, so let's go with the bereaved. Now, my concern right now is the fact that I'm now playing with a new character which I've never played with before. Wilson is really vanilla, cookie-cut, nothing bad about him, nothing good about him, but there's nothing you have to worry about. With new people, this is going to be a problem now, because now I'm not sure what their little nicks and knacks might be, like what you know, makes them do stuff, like, I'm not sure what this whole Haunted by Your Twin Sister thing is all about. It kind of scares me, to be honest with you. And I also am not crazy about her not hitting as hard, because it might require, like, what, maybe an extra two hit or two against enemies, which could be pretty bad, so... I'm not sure, I mean... But considering, I mean, compared to, um, fire starting when you're nervous, and also being scared of the dark and monsters, it sounds like the lesser of evils, anyway. I know there's, like, a spider kid, or something like that, who apparently is actually pretty decent. We don't want our sanity to start dropping early, so you know what? I'm gonna pick up flowers and try to get a garland up and running, so we don't have to worry about our sanity going forward. Uh, what we're looking for right now is actually just one more piece of flint, which I do see right now. We'll get the axe happening, or not the axe, but the, the pickaxe. And then we'll be able to make ourselves more weapons through that, so we'll make this bad boy here. Let's get our seashells right now as well. Take advantage of them with the fact. And I think that one of the best things to do early on is um, other than just, you know, collecting every little single thing that I'm doing right now. And by the way, I'm going to do a lot of collecting right now, so I apologize if you're not too crazy about farming. But the way I have survived so well off camera is, um, you know, farming. Just tuckering down, focusing, and you know what? Even though it's boring for me to pick up like 70 pieces of the grass, all that grass is going to be really, really important down the line. But other than that, though, I do believe that finding the ideal biome is even more important than anything else. Like, if you could find yourself a nice biome that's relatively safe... Um, to give you an idea on the off-camera one that I have going on, I found a biome where I'm kind of... I made a camp in a sandy area, but it is completely surrounded by barnacles, and it is completely surrounded by a monkey island down below, so I could come down there, get the poop thrown at me, and then collect manure whenever I need to. There's also a few spider dens in the bottom, so I could always go down there to pick up a few extra, you know, silk and monster meat whenever I needed. There's also... Well, actually, I collected berry bushes from all over the place, and I planted them right next to my sandy area, because next to my sandy area is actually an area you can grow some crops at. So, essentially, to give you a long story short rendition here, in this island that I have off-camera, I have everything that I need to survive long-term around me, without having to go to another island to pick it up. Meaning, the point is, finding the item that you need, or at least finding a biome that has everything you kind of need, is really, really important so you can get off of the seas and not travel all the time. So that's going to be my big concern right now, finding the proper biome early on. 
Uh, we need some flint. I do see some here. Is there any more, like, you know, breakable rocks? Eh, that's, that's my barnacles. I'm going to leave those alone. These don't have any flint. They're just straight up rocks, huh? Uh, how are we doing with the... We could definitely use a, a bit more twigs, so let's collect those. Oh, barnacle. Sweet. And I could bring down this bad boy coconut here for some cocos. I mean, early on, it's not bad to have them. Let's pick up these seashells as well. We do want to aim for an armored boat. And I'm going to skip the, the, the seashell suit. I'm going to try to go straight up for the limestone one because I know how to make that one a lot easier now that I know how to pick up the coral reefs, which is another big issue in my our first few episodes here where I had no idea how to get those some um, coral reefs. It was like, oh, you know what, Falcon? Never thought about just equipping an axe next to the rock and, you know, hitting spacebar maybe. That would have probably worked. Yeah, well, you know, I could be facetious with myself now that I know what I'm doing, but back then when I first started the series, I was just kind of like... Oh my god, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I was quite scared about it. Look how nice it is to have so much daylight to collect shit. Do you see how nice this is? And this is why the reason I've mentioned too that my big problem other than, you know, being completely unknowledgeable what to do when I first started the series was also the fact that whenever nighttime hit, or even evening, I would just stop working. I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna sit right here next to the fire and do nothing because I'm so scared because I have no idea what to do. Early on, use the night to actually go out and find stuff because all you need is a fire, a uh, little, you know, torch, and that's going to be more than enough to get you through. Okay, so we have a lot of these good things, good things here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a machete, and we'll work on something else here pretty soon. But right now, we also need some bamboo going forward. So, uh, there is no palm trees here, huh? Well, actually, there's a few down. Eh, there's a few. Uh, I forgot that we do need the little um momentary backpack for a while, so unfortunately, trees. Where's the cocoa variety? I'm gonna bring down some of the cocoa variety. Where's my... Did I bring down my axe right here or what? Have I not made an axe? Maybe I didn't make an axe. Maybe I'm just blind. I probably go with blind. Being blind sounds a lot more of a possibility than anything else. No, I don't see it. I don't see it right now. Alrighty. So, um, for... Oh, and that's the problem I was talking about. Uh, but, but, but what can we say goodbye to? The seeds, you know what? We're not going to be um, planting anything anytime soon. So we'll leave you alone. Uh, I need more coconut ones? No. Oh, here we go. I prefer to get the coconut ones because we'll get a little bit of food. We'll get some palm leaves for the backpack. And we'll also get some decent amount of wood, which we might require going forward here. So other than finding a biome early on, getting our first piece of gold is going to be really important as well. Right now it's evening again. When I first started the series, this would be the time where I'm like, okay, we're done working, let's go sit next to the fire until the daytime. Not good. Okay, here we go. Let's find out exactly how weak this woman is. So, I just need um, one snake here for example. So, yeah, come here. Come here. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's what a machete as well, which doesn't sound too bad, honestly. Now, mind you, we don't need the monster meat anytime soon, not until we get the crockpot. So, fighting these guys is not really something I really want to do. But they're kind of impeding my progress now, which is annoying. You know what? Let's just ignore them. Just ignore them. Oh, Dublin. This could be really important gold later. The only problem is I have... Abigail's what? Abigail's magic flower? What the hell is that? <laughs> I just looked at that right now for the first time. I'm like, what? Wait, what? Uh, let's ignore them for a bit here. How do we get our little attachback happening here? Ba 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 ba. Oh, only four more. Good. That's actually easy. It's almost nighttime, Falcon, so let's try to make this really, really fast. All I need is like two more leaves, right? And we should have enough for a fire? Yes. That's not a problem. Is that enough? Nope, we need one more. Okay, we'll just bring this one down. I'm sorry you have no coconuts ready for me, but that's okay. Come on, come on, Falcon. Come on. Come on. Just need that fire. There we go. Alright, we'll just place this bad boy. I don't know. Oh, Snake Man. Snake. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Stop. Place. There you go. Alright, good. Good start. Really, really good start. A lot of um, bare essentials over here needed. Let's go ahead and make our little backpack here first. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and move our items over here, our, our tools, so I know where they're at at all times. I'm not over here, like, stumbling about trying to find them. And this is all great. Let me go and pick up this Dublin as well. Hunger? Yeah, I mean, we're a little bit hungry. I guess we'll probably just go ahead and eat some of these old berry berries here. Berry bears. I'm going to hold on to those petals so we can make that garland as soon as possible. Seeds, you know what? You're not really important to me. Later on, you will be. But for now, let's go ahead and have a nice little meal with you. 
coconut, and let's go ahead and get in love with the cocoa one more time as well. Alrighty, excellent. And now that that's under control with here, uh, is there a torch that we can make? There is. Absolutely is. One, two, three. Yeah. I'm not seeing how she's supposed to hit less, but whatever. So far, it's so good. Um, berries over there. We are just looking for more bamboo, right? More bamboo sounds like the right idea, because we need to make the first raft to get on out of here. Yeah, this island is uh, a nice little starting island, but this is something like where you would not want to definitely stay around too long with, because you can see there's really not much happening here. That's a snake there. We'll hold off on that for a second. So, we need... Oh, we still need three of those, though. Mm. Uh, I mean, I don't mind fighting the snakes. not a big deal. We, we can do it, but... It's just basically taking time away of stuff that we need to do right now. Oh, here we go. We need more petals, indeed. And bamboo is something I really didn't collect too much as well. And you know what? You need bamboo for the clothing to make the sandbags, which is something I really haven't messed around with too much. So that's something I do have to learn. Sandbags to keep your um, area from being over flooded whenever the tide starts coming in. Especially for somebody like me that really likes making bases around the, I guess, um, sandy type of area. So this should be enough for our dude, right? Yeah. And we'll just take an extra one just in case. Alrighty, and now we leave. There's another flower here which I will pick up, but we are ready to get on out of here. If I had a hammer, I could basically break down the stuff over there that we um, crash landed with, but we don't. So I don't think we can break it down right now without the hammer, so that's fine. Let's see, we'll zoom out here a little teeny tiny bit. And I think we're ready to go. Now the problem is, where do we want to go? What would be the ideal place here? Let's unequip our machete. Okay, we'll pick up the sapling here. I feel like we're really low on, or not sampling, but I feel like we're really low on twigs, so... Something we should keep our eye out on. So we're here. Where do you guys think we should go? North? I mean, north relative to where we're at. South? East? West? I am gonna go... I, I normally think north is good, but since we're over here, we're to south already. Let's just go south. So, raft it up here, my friend. Excuse me, raft. Working me here. Alrighty. Down we go. Let's zoom out, keep an eye on stuff, get away from me, jelly man. Don't eat your nonsense right now. And we want to keep an eye out for shorey type of waters. The moment we start seeing dark, dark water, doesn't mean we're not going to hit land, but it's going to be a bit more difficult. Hey, we found something already. Okay, I'm curious about you. For now, though, I'm going to go ahead and pick up flowers so we can make our garland. And keep our sanity up early so we don't have to worry much about it. Oh, of course, there would be monkeys here. This is uh, going to be grassland, which is not a bad thing. Ooh, sweet potato. Did we find a sweet potato area? Is that a rock? Yep, yeah, that's a rock. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, no, no shit, Falcon. What gave it away? The fact that it's, um, oh, I don't know, a rock? Yes, the fact that it's a rock gave it away. Well, you want to fight about it? Let's go ahead and make our garland. There you go. Alrighty. So, let's find out what's in this island. We'll explore and try to pick up some bare essentials while we're at it. I don't need any more flowers, I don't think. It's going to be mangrove area, which could be where some of the ox are at. We ran to ox finally in the last um, run. I finally discovered there are um, ox. You guys told me there were, but I didn't believe you. I was kind of like, nah, I haven't seen one. And then I saw one, I was like, oh no, they really are here. This is a really small island that really has not much, unless um, we have to get our... We might have to traverse this little area here to get there, huh? Now, is there gold? There's usually gold in monkey islands because they like to make it so that the monkeys try to loot you before you pick up the gold. But there's no gold right now, huh? Okay. We need to get back on our raft then. There's really not much happening in this island other than, like, you know, just wood and grass. It's the same old stuff. But it does seem like there is something on the other side. I don't like to explore too much early on. I really like to find my biome as soon as possible so I know what, where and when I want to start building to. So this right here in day two is still kind of exploring is not something that... Well, I mean, it's still early, but I prefer not to be here at this point right now. Just grass, huh? Here's our... Yeah, this is grass for the most part. Oh, here we go. This is like a really, really weird biome. Zoom out here a little teeny tiny bit. So we have trees. I mean, if we could find like barnacles... Oh, hey, look at this. How do you like that? Okay, we have a little bit of a safety net already. And mind you, 
Ooh, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is what we were looking for indeed. We were looking... Oh, no, no, we need the shovel. Oh, fudge me. I forgot we need the shovel. Now, the shovel could only be made with the science machine, right? And that requires gold, so we need one piece of gold, and if we get one piece of gold, we'll come back over here and make a ton of gold. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Well, I'm not heartbroken about it, at least we found it, we know where to come. Once we get that one really important piece of gold here first. Let's hit the road then, and try to find this gold needed. And again, gold is really usually situated around a lot of monkeys, because they like to make it so that the monkeys will loot your gold whenever it drops. It does seem we're probably going into deeper waters over here. Mm, we'll, we'll keep going here for a bit longer, but... It's not looking too promising. Look at our map here. Let's move down a little bit, up and right, <laughs> whatever, just to... Hopefully this map will pick something up before I do. Come on. It's almost the evening again. That's not really a big problem. We have a torch over here to back us up. Okay, here we go. Something down here. Oh, this might be a small pig island. Might be a small pig island. Which is not what we're looking for at all. I mean, there's a possibility there might be gold here, but right now it's not what we're looking for. Yeah, this looks like a small pig island. Smalu Pigu Islando. That's my Japanese rendition of Small Pig Island. Smalu Pigu Renduzo. Uh, you know what? It's not even making fun. I honestly love the way, like, um, Japanese, like, commercials, uh, movies, whatever you want to go with, whatever, like, just Japanese in general, how they say, like, you know, um, just certain things in English. Like, it'll be like, you know, you'll be like, you know, Small Pig Island. They're like, no, no, Smalu Pigu Islando. And you're like, yes. You know what? You make that sound so much more important than just saying Small Pig Island. Let me tell you, my friend. Okay. So, you know what? This is not bad because we are getting a few barnacles. However, we... This is not what we're here for. We're looking for gold. Looking for gold. Uh... Snoopskies. Is that... That's something down here, isn't it? I see a tree at the very least. You know what? Uh... I really don't want to stop here, but we might have to. Might have to. We still haven't found our, our home. Our home away from home. Because I really want to find the gold piece first for the science machine before we actually do make that happen. Mm. So I say, since we're going to be stuck here for this island for the night, I'm just going to go ahead and drop down the old... Fire Pitu! Campfire! We'll, we'll drop the campfire over here and we'll go ahead and just um, get some more cocos here for the road. And I think... When we come into daytime, we go down. And a burning rain of fire. A ring of fire. A ring of fire. That's... Is a really... <laughs> is that Johnny Cash you're asking? Oh, yes, absolutely it is. Uh, what gave it away? <laughs> is it a really, really lazy way of singing it? Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, what about it? That's just the way I sing it. It's kind of like, it's not even that I don't know the words, because I honestly do. But the way I like to do it is just kind of like this really weird, lazy way. And then people just figure I don't know the words. I'm like, no, I know the words. It's like, it's not a difficult song. He's not over here, like, singing it, like, you know, 75 words per second or something like that, you know? He doesn't talk like Falcon talks, essentially, what I'm saying, you know? Um, so, eat and eat. Just getting a little bit of extra. You know what, let's just go ahead and uh, cook the cocos. Remember, they don't really have too much of a value down the line. Although, I normally like to make a, a coconut, or at least a palm tree garden around where I live. Not where I live, personally. But in game. Because, um, it's a good source of, like, you know, a small food on occasion, yes. But more importantly, it's just actually wood. A constant source of wood nearby. Alright, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here for today. Next episode, we go down south, and hopefully we can find this piece of gold. If we do, we can finally start looking at a place to settle down at. Because once I have the first science machine, I usually say this is going to be it. So, we're, good. we're doing good so far. We have a bunch of supplies over here on us. So, whenever we do settle down, we have a lot to make. I'm not making it right now, because until I settle down, that's when I start moving my stuff here. But really good start so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us a lot. And um, stick around. We're going to continue going forward. And I assure you, smooth sailing ahead. <laughs> you get it? Because I'm on a ship or I'm a, a raft. Okay, whatever. It's a, it's a pirate game, okay? I'll catch you guys next time.